It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. Totally could have been, um... I don't know. I just, uh... Took a little break from life. And... But now I'm here again. Um... The name of this video is... Why I Don't Need Therapy. Like, specifically, talk therapy. Um... For those that know, there are other kinds like art therapy, music therapy. There's there's a lot more out there than people know. Um, <clears throat> I've uh I've done therapy in the past. I mean, you know, I partook in it. Um, uh, just like romantic partners, and just like in life with people in general. There's I've had some good therapists. I've had some bad therapists. But what defines good and bad? I think. Um, how much he or she, the therapist, compels you to make changes in your life, or at least attempt, or at least think about. So if you're just sitting there, or laying down, as the stereotype is in, uh, in therapy, um, on that couch, or that couch bed, or whatever you want to call it, um, I mean... At some point, this is this is what I think. I think starting therapy is eventually gonna be why you don't need it anymore, or how you learn how to deal with it on your own. Because realistically speaking, unless you've got some major issues that require constant supervision and attention, um. It just seems like you can't have someone holding your hand for the rest of your life or being an ear or making sure you're okay, make like like stuff that like in some cases friends or lovers are supposed to do or you know can do or are willing to do. But I feel like the element I feel like the element of it is lost when Either yourself or your insurance or a combination of both through copays or whatnot. If you're paying someone to listen to you and to react to you, I just I just don't see how a a specific therapist, that specific person, is the only one that can help you. I mean Things that you should be able to talk to your parents about, your siblings, other close friends and family. Like, at some point, wouldn't you need to cope on your own at some point? Or learn how to cope? I don't know. I mean, um, do I still go to therapy? No, as I alluded to, um, I felt I got past that point. Uh, would I ever go again? If something happened or if I was going through a hard time, but I'm not exactly sure I can make it a regular thing because, um, believe it or not, even with a good therapist, sometimes therapy doesn't help people. In some cases, it can make it worse. For example, if you're dealing with trauma or, um, just some sort of, uh, sorry, my little light turned off, <laughs> or some sort of, you know, some sort of, um, like, uh, Consistent, it's, I don't want to say dangerous, but consistent and worthy issue. I mean, if you're constantly making, for example, addiction. What 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 if you're addicted to, I don't know, drugs, alcohol, whatever you want to call it, sex, love, or you know, in my case, but um, but um, um, yeah, um, cause yeah, you need a support system, but that's what groups are for. Like, I'm sure everyone's heard of group therapy, you know, like, you know, I've heard of a lot of these different medical terms and stuff, because, um, as I say, I spent my fair share of time in hospitals, but, um, that's a whole, that's a whole nother video, that's a whole nother video. Um, it's been, uh, I'm gonna get a little off topic here, it's just been, um, doing my PlayStation 3 Platinums, um, 
believe it or not, there are supposedly only 85 PlayStation 3 Easy Platinums. Which re seems really low to me. Because, um, well, I guess, I guess on PlayStation 4, because it's, it's growing in popularity, but, um, I just noticed that, um, I guess that there really aren't that many easy platinums. I mean, there might seem like a lot, but I don't know. I should have cataloged this in the place. Could have been a gamer section, but um, I didn't. But um, yeah, so that's my thoughts about therapy. I mean, uh, I mean, it's, it's good if it helps some people. I mean, they, uh, I don't know, I just, it's just weird to me for people who do it like for decades, for people who do it the rest of their lives. I don't know. I, I remember I was talking to a, a, a personal trainer one time and she was telling me how her job has many different facets to it. Um, she says sometimes, sometimes um, I'm a, obviously a physical therapist. Sometimes um, I'm a listener. Sometimes I'm a coach, a life coach. And sometimes I'm a therapist. And it's just like, first of all, if you're paying physical therapist, personal trainer or whatever, if you're paying someone to get you in shape or help you get better physically, why are you talking about issues with them mentally? About psychological issues? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Seems like there's some road displacement there. No, no. I would say... What I like about a couple of my therapists who I consider quote-unquote good, um, they weren't afraid to tell me that I was wrong about something. I can't think of what it was before, but I have, I appreciate that, that a person I was seeking help from to, told me to my face that I was wrong about something, explained to me why I was wrong about that. And then I, uh, then I put some thought into it. And most of the time I just, I realized they were right. And I feel like that's that's the goal of therapy when you can admit that you're wrong and just move on. Emphasis on moving on because I don't know how people do it. Like spending decades, years, even years, even um, I just, I think the longest I spent in therapy was maybe between five to ten years. I can't remember. But um, on and off, of course, you know. During times when I had insurance, when I didn't have insurance. But, that's my video. So, um, like and spawn. Like and spawn. Like and comment. Um, subscribe if you want. We are we're on our way to 3,000. We're on our way to 3,000 views, guys. 3,000 views. Alright, that's all right. This is like a Carmelo thing. Or I, I think it's some basketball thing. I don't know. Ah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.